The scale module in Music 21 provides a powerful set of tools to represent and manipulate a variety of predefined or customized scales. To get started, let's import Music 21 into our Python environment and define a main function, which we'll call at the bottom of our script. We can lean on several ready-made classes to represent familiar scale types, such as major and minor scales. My scale equals scale.majorscale assigns a new major scale object to the my scale variable. We should provide a string representation of the tonic to specify the scale that we wish to create, which in this case is D major. If we want to create a minor scale, we have three options. Scale.minorscale can be invoked to create a natural minor scale, otherwise known as an aeolian mode, in which no pitches are altered. A harmonic minor scale object represents a minor scale with a raised seventh degree. A melodic minor scale object represents a minor scale where the sixth and seventh degrees are raised, but only when ascending. We can explore the makeup of any scale we have created through a range of inbuilt methods. We'll use a print statement to view their return values. For example, we can call the get tonic, get dominant, or get leading tone methods to return the corresponding pitch for that scale degree. Get scale degree from pitch expects a pitch object or a string representation of a pitch and will return the corresponding scale degree. Conversely, pitch from degree will return a pitch object for a specified scale degree. My scale dot pitch from degree two, for example, returns a C sharp the second degree of our B minor scale. My scale dot get relative major will return a new scale object representing the major scale with the same key signature. We can call my scale dot transpose to transpose the scale by a given interval, specified as an interval object or string representation following Music 21's convention of using an uppercase M for major, a lowercase M for minor, or a P for perfect intervals. The next pitch method expects a pitch object or a string representation of a pitch and by default will return the next higher pitch within our scale. With the second argument, we can alter the step size. For example, a step size of two will return a pitch object that is two pitches higher than the given pitch and using a minus step size will retrieve a lower pitch. We can create a list of pitches in our scale with the get pitches method. We specify the lowest and highest pitches to be included in the list. By default, the returned list is based on an ascending scale, but we can alter this with direction equals scale dot direction uppercase descending. We can use our list to create a notated representation of our scale. To do this, we'll create a new stream.part object called notated scale. We'll use a for loop to iterate over the pitch objects in our list. And within each iteration, we'll append a note object for the current pitch to our notated scale. We could make this more concise by instead providing notated scale with a list comprehension with note.note .note scale pitch for scale pitch in scale pitches. Notated scale dot show allows us when running the program to view our notated B minor scale. Other classes in Music 21 scale module allow us to encode several more common scale types, including modes such as Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, and Locrian as well as chromatic, octatonic, and whole tone scales. Music 21 also empowers us to easily create even more scales, beyond those that have already been encoded within predefined classes. Scales are constructed from cycles of intervals. The whole tone scale, based on a chain of major seconds, is perhaps the simplest example of this. A three-note cell consisting of a minor second followed by a major second, or a major second followed by a minor second, is the building block of an octatonic scale. These are the first two scales of composer Olivier Messiaen's so-called modes of limited transposition, scales which reproduce the same pitch class content when transposed onto at least one other degree of the chromatic scale. Another such scale, Messiaen's third, is based on a four-note cell of a major second followed by two minor seconds. A dedicated class to represent this example has not been provided, but in Music 21, 
on, we can create a cyclical scale object to encode it. Cyclical scale expects a tonic for its first argument. In some scales, including this one, the concept of a functioning tonic may be redundant, but this argument is necessary because it defines the pitch upon which the scale will be built. For its second argument, we provide a list containing interval objects, or string representations of the intervals that make up the cycle used to build our scale. We can now run our program to view our newly created scale in notation. Original scales created with cyclical scale need not necessarily repeat at the first octave. For example, an interval cycle based on three major seconds followed by two minor seconds will create a two octave scale. Having explored the functionality of Music 21's scale module, let's consider how we might leverage its power compositionally. Within our Python program, we'll take a list of pitches, perhaps containing the contents of a chord or melody, and use Music 21 to dynamically map it from one type of scale to another, thereby generating new potential melodic patterns or harmonies. To do this, we'll take the distance in scale steps between each pair of pitches in the list and populate a new list by applying applying these values to traverse a second scale type. To determine the number of scale steps between two pitches, we'll define a new function called getSteps. Its first two arguments, from pitch and to pitch, denote starting and ending pitches. A third argument, named origin scale, specifies the scale from which the pitches were drawn. Within the function, we'll use sorted to sort the from and to pitches in ascending order and assign the results to a very variable called pitch range. In another variable called pitches in range, we'll store a list of all pitches belonging to the origin scale that fall within the range of our pitch range variable. We can do this by calling origin scales get pitches method. The asterisk unpacking operator allows us to supply the pitch range list to get pitches as separate arguments, defining the upper and lower boundaries for the returned pitches in range list. The number of scale steps will will be one less than the number of scale pitches within our specified range. We can calculate this by invoking the len function to return the count of elements in the pitches in range list and then subtracting one from it. Steps stores the number of ascending steps between the pitches supplied to the function. It is therefore necessary to account for cases where from pitch descends to to pitch. We can use an if statement to evaluate whether from pitch is greater, meaning higher, than to pitch. In such case, we multiply steps by minus one to make it negative, thus indicating a descending direction. We can now return the final calculated number of steps between the two pitches. Back in our main function, we'll use cyclical scale to define two distinct scales with unique interval patterns. Each will repeat at the octave and contain eight pitch classes. We'll use a list comprehension to create a sequence called origin, consisting of pitches native to our first scale. Ultimately, these will map or translate to a second list called translated. Initially, it will hold only the first element from our origin list. We'll iterate through the origin list starting from the second pitch. Using a for loop, we'll call the range function to iterate with a sequence of integers ranging from one to the length of origin. Inside this loop, in a variable called n scale steps, we'll store the number of steps between the previous pitch and the current one by calling our custom get steps function. We'll retrieve the previous pitch indexing into origin with i minus one and the current pitch with i. For the origin scale, we'll supply my scale one. To create a new pitch, we'll call my scale two dot next pitch. For the first argument, we'll index into the translated list with i minus one to specify an origin pitch and use n scale steps for the second argument to retrieve a new pitch object that is n scale steps away from the previous one. We'll use translated.append new pitch to complete the mapping process. To visualize this, we can create two stream.part objects, respectively containing notes for the original and translated lists. We'll combine these into a score and call it show method so that when we run the program, we see our original sequence of pitches in the upper stave and the translated version below it.
If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. I'd also appreciate your feedback, thoughts, suggestions or requests for future topics related to Python, Music 21 and creative coding. Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.